There's nothing wrong with me right here with you. Hey everybody, it's the idiot right here. Figured I'd make a video to show you how I fix the FX1 3DO uh, CD-ROM drive. Right here's a picture of a Mitsubishi. It's a number. It was a CR-562-B. dash dash I do believe. Anyways, I bought it on eBay for $10. There's two boards on here, which I don't need any of those, so I removed the CD-ROM drive completely out. Here's a side-by-side. -side. The left side is the 3DO, and the right side was the CD-ROM. There's a picture of an audio test after I replaced the boards. As you can see in this unit, I went ahead and left the DVD drive white just because I didn't want to take the time to replace the tray with the original black one. And it was proof of concept, so I could just show a picture of it showing that I did replace it. It doesn't have exactly fast loading times. But I don't believe the 3DO had quick loading times back in 93, I think it was. This is a project that I did, I think it was six years ago. And I posted all this information on an arcade forum. I thought I'd share a video. The only problem I see now, if you look up that drive... Yeah, I think the drive is going for like almost $200 now because it's vintage. I think at the time I bought the 3DO for $50 because it had the broken drive. So for $60 I was able to get a working 3DO. Which wasn't bad because at the time I think the units working were at least 200 something. So I figure if you're a vintage gamer and you like collecting these units, you can find a broken one, and if you can find the drive that it is. The type of a drive is a MKE. It's a 40 pin just like an IDE, but I believe the pins are backwards. So instead of going 1 through 40, it actually goes 40 back to 1. So if you were to plug it into an IDE, uh, controller, I think it would burn the drive up, or at least the control board. I have to double check on the uh, drive number. As you can see, there's Gex. Okay, I double check the drive number was the CR-562-B. dash dash It's an MEK type drive. It's kind of like a SCSI. It's a 40 pin. There's probably other models that would work. This just happened to be the drive that I bought. I know when I bought it, the guy had a stack of them for like $10. But I think it was a week after I posted all that information on the arcade forum. I looked back on eBay and all the drives had jumped up to like 60 or $70. So I don't know if that was just a coincidence or if somebody's seen my info and realized the value of it at the time. I figured that's all the info I've got for you. Hopefully if somebody's collecting these and they can find the drive... They might be able to fix one up. There's other alternatives. I think they have a USB board you can buy now and an RGB. But if you want to keep it as stock as possible, this would be the best route to go. We hate to see you go. Please like, subscribe, and share.